guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing a trying to conceive product haul so i'm going to show you all the products that i have bought or have saved from before for trying to conceive um if you don't know if you didn't watch my last vlog we have decided to start trying for our second baby it'll actually be this next cycle um so i'm going to show you everything that i bought some of it is not necessary and some of it is more because i make videos for you guys about trying to conceive um so i'll let you know kind of what is necessary and what isn't um but yeah i'm gonna get right into this because i have quite a lot to show you so first of all i'm gonna start off with prenatals okay so this is my second baby so i'm kind of doing what i did with my first because i managed to get pregnant pretty quick with my first baby so um, these are the prenatals that I will be taking and I will start taking them the first day of my period which should be tomorrow and it's hopefully going to be my last period um, it helps to just make your body full of these the good stuff that they have in prenatals to help you conceive um, yes it's not necessary you can start taking them as soon as you find out you're pregnant but um, I think it's a great idea to start taking them before you even start trying um, that way your body is fully prepared so that's the first thing. So that is sort of preparing your body. And the next thing is to kind of know when you're ovulating, because that is going to help to increase your chances of conceiving fastest, right? You will need our ovulation test strips, OPKs. These are my favorite. They are the little cheapy test strips from Easy at Home. I have literally so many ovulation tests. I'm not crazy, I swear. Um, <laughs> I do a lot of videos for you guys and that's the main reason but little cheapy um, ovulation test strips this is a different brand this is the Pregable Pregable ovulation an LH test strip luteinizing hormone is what you are looking for so the test strips are great but if you want to take it one step further you can get um, I want to say like they're not test strips they're actual like hard physical <laughs> you know, um, uh, tests um, there's so many different brands, okay? These are a bunch that I have from before. So I have Clear Blue Ovulation Test. I have the mirror that go into like this. Um, and I have a whole video testing all of these that I'll put a card up for somewhere here so you guys can watch that video. And then I have two other different brands here as well. Um, and then I actually went out and I bought this one. These are my favorite ones. I think I have them in that basket that I just showed you. But these are from Walgreens. Um, and it's an ovulation kit is what it's called. So you get 10 ovulation tests and one pregnancy test. So how cool is that? Like you have everything you need basically to try and conceive right here. And these are great. That's what it looks like. See what I mean by they're not like cheapy strips. They're like an actual like physical plastic test. Um, but these are great. And then I actually got this. Now these are not necessary. Just the little cheapy strips are necessary. Um, I got this just because I make videos. And I'm going to show you guys my entire journey. And what it looks like when I'm ovulating on a bigger more expensive test and then I saw these and this is a digital ovulation test again not necessary but it was on clearance in Walgreens from $30 to seven seven dollars I couldn't believe it I'm like I'm definitely gonna test this out as well oh and another way to test if you have ovulated is to use a, a BBT thermometer and that's a basal body temp now I personally don't use BBT I only use ovulation tests, you don't need to use both. But I know some women do like to test with their temperature, so a BBT thermometer is very, very useful. Again, not necessary if you're using strips. Um, but if you want to confirm and be like completely sure, like I am, then one of those is great too, and I think it's only like $10, maybe like $9.99, so not expensive at all. And then you need one of these, and this is a product that I made if you watch my videos you know about this book. Um, it's an ovulation and pregnancy tracking diary and it will keep track of all your test strips, okay? Is it necessary? No, you can tape them on a piece of paper. However, if you like to be organized, this is the way to go and it's available on my Amazon store. I'll link it down below because on here you can track your cycle number, um, your start date, cycle days, and then the date um, the time you took the tests, um, period, sex, low, high, positive. So each cycle is a double page, like that. And on one side is your ovulation test strips, and then on the other side it is pregnancy test strips. 
it's great if you like to be organized okay i take pride over this and i'm really excited to use it again i will be showing you once i've tested for this next cycle um but this really nice to have to keep track of everything cleanly neatly tidy so for me it is a necessity um, and i know it will be for some of you guys out there as well um, so next, once you have sort of done your ovulation and you've done your two week wait, which is the two weeks between your ovulation day and the first day that you're supposed to get your period, okay? Once you've done that two week wait, then you wanna take a pregnancy test. So, um, cheap strips are great. Again, easy at home, comes with a kit with the ovulation test and pregnancy test strips. That kit will be linked down below, that is amazing if you want to buy that um but i also have pregmate or was this pregmate i can't remember pregable pregnancy test that came with the other one and then i have different ones again i know i'm crazy um you can't just buy one of each one they come in like a pack of like 25 to 100 or something <laughs> weird like that so like that's why i have so many um che cheap strips are great so what i will do um the earliest you can really get a line is 10 DPO, so 10 days past ovulation, which is usually about four days before you get your period, which is about 14 days past ovulation, okay? So that's when I will take my first test because you can get a very faint line on 10 DPO. And I'm, yes, I know, you're like, just wait until you miss your period. But no, I like to be, you guys know me if you watch my videos, okay? Um, you like to test as soon as possible, right? If you're trying to conceive because you're all excited. Um, so once I get a small line or what I think is a faint line on the easy at home test strips, then I go in with a first response because these can pick it up. See, earliest results six days sooner than your missed period. So if, so if you're really lucky, you might even be able to pick it up at eight DPO. I've never been able to do that, not saying that you wouldn't be able to, but this is the test that you want to go with if you want to get an earliest <laughs> as possible result, okay? These are great. Um, and it comes in a pack of three tests. Now all of this that you're going to see, it's not cheap, okay? This is like $25. I bought three of them, okay? When you add up all of the stuff I got, it's well over 100 maybe even $200. It's not necessary. What I'm going to do, and the reason I got three, nine tests, obviously if I don't get pregnant this time and I use one, then I'll need it for next cycle, the next cycle, the cycle after. But the reason I got so many is because my AC turned on. I'm hoping that's not too loud. It's like right there. Hopefully it's not. I'll try to muffle it out or talk louder. But I got three because once I get a positive test, I want to do a pregnancy test line progression video for you guys on the first response um, test. So that's why I got three. <laughs> Definitely, again, not necessary. And then to be real extra, once I know I am pregnant, I got a clear blue digital because everyone wants to see that little word with pregnant come right up there, right? Um, so I will only open this box once I know 100% sure that I am pregnant and just want to get, um, you know, that word come up on that. And it comes in a pack of two. You get a rapid pregnancy test and a digital pregnancy test. And you says that you could get results five days sooner than your period. The first response are six. Another thing that is, I would say, a necessity to have if you're doing ovulation test strips are these little cups to pee in. <laughs> um, you can get them at any store. I think I got these at Walmart. They come in a big pack and they are just the small ones. They are really good for peeing in and then just throwing away um, instead of using like the bigger disposable cups. These are great, cheap as well. Um, I usually like to use reusable stuff, but when it comes to peeing in cups, I'm like, no, I'm, I'm just gonna use disposable for that. <laughs> are a necessity if you are doing the dipsticks and um, the pregnancy tests as well, because you need to sort of, trying to hold it under you and pee on it, it pee just gets everywhere, it's not, it's pretty messy. This is much, much cleaner way of doing it. And then you can also take multiple tests with the same sample that you took, um, instead of having to pee multiple times. So that is it pretty much for my trying to conceive haul. Um, however, I did prepare for when I get pregnant. I'm hoping that I will be able to get pregnant pretty fast. I did with my first, that's why I say that. Um, but who knows, it might not be as quick this time. But I did get some preggy pops and this is for nausea. Didn't try it with my first because I could just lay in bed all day. But now that I have a toddler, um, I'm gonna need to try and get rid of that morning sickness um, as much as I can. So got these because my morning sickness comes on pretty quick when I get pregnant. I also got a nausea relief. It's a C-band 
um, but it says it is actually for morning sickness and not like for seasickness. Um, clinically tested, recommended by healthcare experts, and there's two wristbands in here. I'll link it down below again, um, but it's for acute pressure band so that you put it on your wrist, and it's supposed to help. Never tried it before, but we'll see, right? And then I got Tums because I get the worst heartburn. Yeah, I get the worst heartburn when I'm pregnant. It's so bad. I have to take those all night. It's terrible, but I got them so that I am prepared. One thing that I didn't buy, and I would say isn't necessary until you've tried for like a few months and you're still not seeing any, uh, you're still not getting pregnant, is um, pre-seed. And pre-seed is a lubricant, I believe. I've never tried it, but pre-seed is a lubricant that's supposed to help you conceive easier. Target has a lot of products. If you go down their aisle, it's near their um, pharmacy, but they have all their pregnancy stuff. There is so many different things that you can buy. Just have a walk down that aisle and just have a look at everything. There is so much stuff out there for trying to conceive. It's great. I think it's it's amazing. But the stuff that I showed you today is the stuff that I rely on and that I love and I know that works because <laughs> I have gotten pregnant before using it. So if you guys found this product all useful at all and you want to continue to follow me on my journey on trying to conceive our second baby, um, I will be showing you guys pretty much the whole process, getting pregnant and throughout my pregnancy. So if you want to follow me with that, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.